the star forms the target for the dumpy level. What you'll see is a series of one centimetre gradations up and down the star. Each of these small blocks represents one centimetre. Each of these E-shapes, once again, is so that it becomes easy to read five centimetre differences at a greater distance. The staff is being read relative to the horizontal view coming out of the instrument. If, for instance, we got a reading of 1.0, that means the ground surface is 1.0 metres below the height of that horizontal plane coming out from the instrument. If the reading increases to, for instance, 1.20, that means the ground is now 20 centimetres lower than the initial reading. So as the measure increases, it means the ground surface is going lower. Once you have your instrument level and you're looking through the eyepiece, the person holding the staff needs to hold it absolutely vertical. Make sure you keep your hands away because undoubtedly what will happen is when you're in the far distance, you will be holding exactly over where the person behind the instrument is trying to read. So hold the staff like this. Preferably stand directly behind it so that you can aim it at the instrument and keep your hands clear. Remember you are trying to aim your instrument so that the vertical crosshair lines directly along the centre of the staff. Once you've achieved that, then look to the horizontal crosshair. Say for instance, your centre horizontal crosshair crosses at that point there. That would be a reading of 1.20 metres. If your horizontal crosshair crossed there, it would be 1.21 metres. 1.25, 1.30 and so on.